Hey, my name is Phil and in this video, I wanna show you how to create a custom email template for proposals and for estimates inside of High Level. Now this sounds complex, but it's a very simple process and it's going to allow you just to look that little bit more personalized and make your brand look that little bit more professional. So what I'm gonna do is jump behind the screen and show you how to set it up. Okay, so here we are inside of the dashboard. Now let's go ahead first of all and create the email template we wanna use for our proposals and our estimates. So to do that, come inside of the sub account you're working on, scroll down to marketing on the left, come to the top under emails and click on templates. Now if you already have some types of templates inside of here and you wanna keep all of the branding, you may have custom footers, things like that, you can easily clone it and then adjust to suit. But for this example, I'm gonna start from complete scratch so if you haven't got anything set up, you know how to use it. So come to the top, click on new, scroll down to blank template. There is also different marketing templates inside, but I'm gonna choose blank template. And then I'm gonna choose the design editor because it's just that little bit easier being drag and drop. Now you will see it will be a very blank template to start with. And for some reason, my computer loves it when I reload the page. Sometimes it doesn't allow me to instantly use the elements. So what I recommend you do first of all is reload the page and now everything is going to work nicely. So the first step you wanna do is come and rename your template. So I'm gonna call this the um, proposal and estimate template, okay? Very straightforward, nothing too crazy there. And then what I'm going to do is I like to drop in a fresh text box and get rid of the placeholder. This just allows me to have some paragraph text and a heading text, which is ready to rock and roll. Now, how I'm going to start this is by going ahead and choosing an H1 element. And I may even just decrease the size a little bit. This is all personal, um, personal preference. But once you've chosen that, what I will usually do is highlight the text, come to this little custom values box here. And if you scroll right down to the bottom of the list, you can see we now have a proposals tab. So what I'm gonna do is go and choose name. This means it's going to be the document name that you save your proposal as. So a good rule of thumb I always try to do is put the company's name first and then a little hyphen and then the type of service. And I'll show you an example of that as we get to it. So once you've done that, now it's time to start adding in some content. So what I generally do is go ahead and first of all choose another custom value. I'll scroll down to right now and I will go to the bottom and choose day, month, year. If you're in America, it's usually month, day, year. So I'm going to choose day, month, year. And this is just to give a relevance to the time of sending this, right? It brings a little bit more urgency if it has a time reference. Now the next step is to start building out the email. So I'm going to go ahead, choose Hey, and then I'm going to go to custom values one more time, choose contact and press full name. So this is going to be the name of the contact that is going to be sent the proposal. Now inside here, you usually want to put in a little bit of fillage of filler text just to make it um, look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is pause the video and quickly fill in some text. Okay, so here's a little example of what you could add. The point of this is to be generic enough that you could send it to everyone, but not too far off, so it's not personal. So I, I wrote, it's been great talking with you about your business, and we're excited to work with you on this project to help you grow your business even further. Here is our proposed outline for the services we discussed. Please review it and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so it's perfect, could be sent to everyone. It's all good to go. So the next step we wanna do is come to custom values once again, scroll down to proposals and choose URL. Now this is going to send the proposal link that you create inside of the proposals tab. So every time you send it, it'll be relevant to that exact proposal. Okay, so it's pretty cool. And then what we wanna do is come down a little bit further and you wanna sign off. So I'll put kind regards, okay. And then what I'm gonna do is come to custom fields one more time, choose user, and I'm going to choose full name. So this will be me. And then below that, I will also go to custom values one more time, account, and then this will be a name. And this is actually going to be what your sub account is or the location's name. So you will see how that will populate soon. Now below that, if you want, you can also add in a footer. I usually go ahead and add in a new section down below like so, okay. And then I will go ahead and drop in a footer module. And you can of course customize customize these how you like. I'm just gonna remove the mailing address for this uh, specific example. 
um, just because it's not set on the sub count, it's just a demo one. So it's looking pretty good. And the last thing I do is I actually don't like having colored backgrounds. I'm a very plain Jane kind of guy. So it's looking very plain. And then the last bit of customization I would probably do is drop in a logo at the top just to keep it on point. And that is it guys, that is our template ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save template. So that is good, the template has been created. Now we just have to assign it to the proposal and estimates settings, okay? So let's go and do that now. What you wanna do is come to payments, right? And you will see here proposals and estimates, click on that, right? And it's going to bring up this proposals and estimates tab. I have actually got one created just so I could complete this training so you know how it looks. But if we come to settings inside of here, you can see we have inside of here customer notifications, document received, template used to send the document. This is the one we want to use. Now I'm just gonna give you a quick look of how this would actually come out. At the moment, this is the default template. It's okay, but it's not great. It's good enough that it can be sent if you haven't set anything up. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn on our new one, all right? So proposal and estimate template, click on save. And if we go back and I will just resend this basic, um, this basic proposal I created, there's not much inside of it, just enough to show you how it works, all right? So I'm just gonna wait just a moment. It'll be sent to my email inbox. Okay, so that has arrived, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. So if we compare the two templates, we now have a full custom one, and if you look at all of the values, it has the contact name. It's also got the date right now. It's got the proposal template's name, which is good. We've got our link to the document. If you click it, it'll go directly there. It's got my name as the user of the sub account. It's got my agency as the name of the sub account, and it's looking pretty good to go. So just keep in mind, once again, if you use the name of the proposal, then make sure when you create your proposals, you name them exactly how you want it to be added in the heading. So that's basically it. The other setting you can have is if you come to settings one more time, there's also documents signed. So once you receive a signed version of your proposal, you can also create an email template, but I'll leave that with you. It's as simple as that. And that is how you create an email template for proposals and estimates inside of high level. A few minutes of work and it's going to serve you for a very long time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on another one. Thank you.